Tennessee on November 30th, 1864, will be home to the bloodiest five hours of the entire American Civil War. At four o'clock, General John Bell Hood's Army of Tennessee Confederate will attack over two miles of open field against fortified, entrenched Federal soldiers. And what will occur here as well is brutal hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Uh, the bayonet is used, and, and more American generals are killed in this battle than any other battle in American history. The Northern Army, even though they win the battle, they will withdraw from the town, leaving behind their dead, wounded, and dying soldiers all over the little town of Franklin. And if you have a house here in Franklin with a roof on it after that horrific battle, you're going to be a hospital to those wounded soldiers. The Northern Army will withdraw. They'll head to Nashville. And again, Franklin becomes one giant hospital. Why is Cherry Manor considered one of the most haunted houses on one of the most haunted streets in Tennessee? After the intense heartache, pain, suffering that occurred here in Franklin, we think that has something to do with it and Cherry Manor is a big part of that, where the soldiers um, were, were cared for, and a lot of them never made it out. say, uh, to give you a disclaimer um, about things that go on here. Cherry Manor has been numerous things throughout the years. It was probably the best or worst possible combination of two businesses under one roof in the 1960s when it was a nursing home and a funeral parlor all in one. So plenty of ghost stories uh, from when it was the nursing home as well. In fact, Mr. Jim Short, who had bought the house and was living here um, before his family moved in, he had to do a lot of work on it. it had been a That's who you bought it from? Um, sure, yeah. And he was spending the night one night when he was awoken, as he put it, by a chill blast of air. Went right through the room, right through the bed sheets, woke him up, and there she was, um, standing over the bed. Um, was a woman in a white dress, 1800 style, as, as he put it. And it scared him so bad, he ran down the stairs, out the doors, into the middle of the road, screaming. Again, Cherry Manor um, is used as a hospital after the horrific Battle of Franklin, the bloodiest five hours of the entire American Civil War, were 10,000 American casualties. And if you go to these old houses that were used as hospitals and they still have the original floors on them, the heaviest blood stains are always going to be by the walls, where the soldiers are leaned up by the walls by the fireplaces trying to keep warm and also the heaviest of the heaviest are going to be by the windows because that's where the surgeons are going to set up shop because they need the light to see. One of the spirits here at Cherry Manor is a lady named Peggy Eaton. She used to live here in Franklin. She was married to John Eaton, a United States Senator and the Secretary of War under President Andrew Jackson. When Mr. Short's mother lived here for a period of time. One of the things that she liked to do, she liked to decorate. Well, one day she had got done redecorating the entire house left to run some errands, locked the door, um, you know, nobody else is here, at least nobody living, because when she came back, all those flowers she had put out throughout the home were laid out perfectly for her in the front hallway as she entered. Uh, she also had bought a set of porcelain plates for the home, and they all had cherry blossoms painted on them. You said she that! She thought that was appropriate. <laughs> the house is called Cherry Manor, Cherry Blossoms. But, well, she had them displayed just like she wanted them left again, came back to find every single one of those porcelain plates smashed and scattered throughout the home. In fact, you know, people have heard rocks being thrown, glass breaking. Um, like I said, all the senses are in play when you're talking about the paranormal as well. You don't think that's Peggy? No, I don't. The aggressive? No, because I think, I hear that the angrier ghost is an old, old lady. This was right in front of the house. I'll this is her house. That is that window. That was on uh, the Franklin on foot tour. At Cherry Manor, there was a lady on one of my tours, uh, and she said that she was a clairvoyant. And she said, Robert, I'm getting the sense of fire here. 
Why is that? In the 1800s, a couple blocks over, there was a school here in downtown Franklin called the Franklin Girls School. Well, that burned down. Well, Cherry Manor here was used as the boarding school for a number of years where the girls you know, lived here and went to school here. In fact, when you look to the right of the door, you can see that old wavy glass, the original glass, and you can see where the girls had etched their names they into right the glass um, from when it was the boarding school. Below. Evidently, they're still here. At this location, we're specifically looking for what makes people feel fear like what induces fear in you you know we thought it'd be a cool idea to go into some of the most haunted locations to discuss this because this in and of itself is fear inducing i'm scared but i'm so intrigued okay would you live here yes we would we would renovate of course would you, would you live in this room why not because it's haunted oh you were which downstairs. is funny because you weren't here but even joe Joe, Joe, the guy who bought Franklin on foot, goes, I know people who won't even park in front of this house. Yeah. People stopped no touring this house because so much crazy shit happened. Yeah, I, I was even I was doing a time lapse outside and a lady was like, What are you what are you doing? And she was like fine. she was like, I'm deathly afraid of this house. <laughs> I was in that room. I heard something walk around the corner. I was like, hey, just I'm going to turn the lights on in a second. Shut up. And then I walked around, and y'all yeah. hadn't even left the restaurant. That's, is she that said when that. you go, this she is scary? Said he thinks yeah. I saw where you go, this is scary. So this is, you can hear walking. Do y'all know what this is? Not, it's like, well, is that like the app on our phone that we had? Yeah, so y'all can bust out that, too, if you want. That's interesting. Basically, this just measures it's energy. Ghost radar, so this is it. So this the is the radar. If you see a dot, it's close. And then words, if you click words. He knew that his whole family was gone and he woke up. What What I heard was he rolled over, opened his eyes, and there's... Oh. I didn't know she was standing by the bed. I thought she was in bed with him. And then he, like, bolted out. Did you see that? Did you, like, we're on below Yes. <laughs> I know, it's like going off. Did you show up in bed or by the bed? Peggy, are you here? Like, were you glitch in the bed? Glitch if you were in the bed? Or by the bed? Were you in the bed, No, Peggy? glitch if you were just standing beside him. I don't think it was Peggy in the bed. It might have been the scary one. Oh, was it not Peggy in the bed? I See, I just, I, all I know is Peggy, I only knew Peggy was a ghost here. I, it was only recent that I knew we had more. But I knew that Peggy stayed upstairs and mostly only appeared to men. How long after y'all bought the house did you figure out that it was haunted? Or did you know coming into it? We knew coming into it. I always <laughs> ask her if she's like scared to come in here by herself because every time I come in here, I'm terrified. <laughs> I love this house. But she'll, she'll come up here and work by herself and during the day doesn't seem to be a more cautious at her. nighttime. <laughs> Yellow dot is right there where that light is. Oh, well, I'm oh that's weird. Nervous. By the She's by like, the no, by the window. That's not you. That's where the ghost would be. Oh. Oh. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. What? Stop! You don't freak out. You're the leader. Um, <laughs> I'm the leader. I don't know what you're meaning. What do you mean? Oh, no, no. Way? You pulled out of here. <laughs> Why is it behind me, Peggy? I'm sorry. In this room. Yeah, right there. What the fuck, dude? I oh made it! I, <laughs> you made, I fell for it. And What's in there? Like some random doll. A doll! A doll. doll? Wait, so why did that say a doll in there, though? I don't it did it pointed in there, didn't it? I know. Wait, it doesn't are you fucking with us? I swear, how, that's her phone. Did she pay for it? It's her I phone. Not, I, yeah, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Scout's on her. Where's she pay? Oh, my God, you're David. I'm good. <laughs> There's a doll. It's a doll. Awesome. Him. Okay, but what are we gonna do with the ghost radar? Okay, well, I just want to say if y'all talk about the doll. We haven't! No, I was gonna scare the Franklin on foot people. These words, I have no, I have not done anything to it. It pointed to a doll. It's behind her. It's like, right, see, till. Till. I don't, I don't, do you oh, need to see money? Her? Is that right? 
Oh. Drew! Oh. Oh, oh, my oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's her you! Name. That's her name. What? That's her? Drew. That's her name. Her name Drew. is Drew. That and it just that came Drew. up. Drew. Drew. Wait, and it's what Oh the my fuck? god, it just said Drew. It did say Drew. <gasps> Holy shit. Don't say Dory, I swear. Oh my god. Don't no. say don't Wait. say Renee. I don't, don't say Amy. <laughs> It said Drew. It's it said so Drew. said Drew. Drew. Oh, what did you, you do, Drew? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the mom. What did you do to Peggy? Like, She's mad because you're pretty. Peggy knows we'd be friends. I don't even understand. Was... Why did it just say that? That's so bizarre. It's just keywords that was for the energy in here. But no, that it was, was giving you like keywords like bloop, 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 bloop. Now nothing. What's Just gonna be Drew and nothing. I feel like somebody is fucking with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> you like broke Did you do anything? There. No. It's Peggy. I haven't opened this in so long. Peggy. We That's crazy. We haven't opened this since the last time we were oh, in here. It is crazy this. No, it's just relaxing. Oh, did you see that? Why? Peggy. Are you here? I'm losing my mind. Where are energy. the words? What are the words? It just, it's so random. Yeah. We know what time the tour is coming. Oh my god, I relationship. Because Peggy had a quick relationship after her husband died at war. She was married either within a month or three months, and that's why she had a bad reputation. Because she was a hussy. Mm -hmm. She was too outspoken for the oh. times, and she got married too soon. Did you see it? No. Peggy, I'm, girl, I would have done it too. <laughs> right. It did it when no you said doubt hussy, that right? all of us would have done Because hussy too. is a trigger word. Can they hurt us if they want to? I don't think so. No. I think they're friendly spirits. Well, it's interesting because, like, <clears throat> I've been in Uganda. I was with the Christian organization there, and you see a lot of, like, demonic things. When you see a child, like, and their bodies are physically being attacked, and there's no other explanation, that's something that's, like, are there evil spirits here that are demonic that could physically attack you. I mean, I have witnessed kids who have had boiling water poured over the tops of their heads, at, like trying to be sacrificed by their parents. Like as a Christian, I think that like here in the U.S., we have so many other distractions, whether it be our phones or television or um, like Cars, superficial just everything. things their spirits and everything I think that they are, that Satan attacks them in a different way stay here at night or no the latest that I've ever stayed is seven o'clock but I mean you know in the winter time it gets dark at 4 30 yeah. but it's nice that you can turn a light on before you enter any room and then turn the light off behind you so you don't have to leave in the dark yeah yeah it doesn't feel doesn't feel malicious whatever's here no. you know I, that's why all these stories are weird to me because I just, I don't, I've never heard of anyone who's been in here since we've owned it have a scary yeah. instance. We've just heard. Usually that means they like you. Yeah. Yeah. They like the owners. Maybe, oh, did the person who owned this before you, did they live here? Yeah, there's the short. We bought it from the sh short. Maybe they like that you're not here all the time. Yeah, maybe. You've probably heard that theory before where they don't like a lot of renovations going on and people living there basically taking over their house. Yeah. But then it's like, what maybe. haunts one place and like not in another old house? Like, what's keeping them here? I mean, I believe there are spirits walking the earth. I do too. I do too. I mean, it's literally in the Bible that angels can be... Take human form and yeah. be here and leave. Yeah. Another theory is that they don't 
they die in such a traumatic way that they don't realize that they're dead. It's like that movie, The Others, with Nicole Kidman. I've never seen oh it. God! Oh God! I need yeah. to watch it. Oh, you need to watch it. It is unbelievable. Or the Sixth Sense. The Sixth uh, Sense. Oh yeah. Yeah, that where he doesn't realize that he's time. dead. Yeah. 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 The only time when I've I've ever heard like the malicious thing or whatever is when it's like they're not. It's like oh, it's you know you're ruining my house type of thing. You know. Well, even like the guy here that got sick on the property. It's like, well, what did you do? Mm-hmm. Like dogs smell, dogs can scent stuff. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Maybe ghosts can scent stuff. People too. And, you know, yeah. Get off my property. You're not welcome here. Like yeah. Demonic and like well, to get, me, demons I and guess, spirits like, are too different. Yes. Yeah. Demons are the soldiers of the devil. Yeah. Real. Which is almost more terrifying than, or not almost, it is more terrifying than like. A ghost, but ghosts are still scary. <laughs> what is the most scared you've ever been? We lived in Tampa and we would always go like skiing and tubing and stuff at a lake. And I was doing the kneeboarding where you're, you got the strap over your knees, you're on the boogie board thing. And like when I stopped, I flipped over upside down, but I couldn't get my knees out of it. And I couldn't figure it out, and I like I legit thought that I was gonna drown. Finally, somehow, I got out of it. But that was the scariest, I think, that I could think of moment, because I really thought I was gonna drown. So what about you? Was it in Uganda or another time? There were three different houses based on age groups and things like that, and I was um, one of the interns. Mm -hmm. And every night at the same time at seven o'clock, we all had worship. And there were a couple kids in particular that, like you, that that you knew were, um, I, I guess, being possessed. I guess you could call it. Um, whether their bodies were like being, I mean, I saw things that were actually like quite terrifying and literally like during devotion there was one night where everybody was just praying and praising and singing and all of a sudden then like all the lights went out the electricity went out all at the same time and so for all three houses and that was I guess like the moment that I realized like okay well I think there is something to this and with these kids who are like, I mean, when you see their bodies like physically being attacked, like there's no way that they're making this stuff up. But um, that was probably one of like the scaredest moments I've ever been. I mean, that's, that's kind of terrifying when you see things like that. seen this picture it's cool so this is a picture for the people who like built this house took a picture whoa here this i'll turn the light on how cool this is i assume that's like around the time they built it yeah build the house holy moly of it. that's pretty cool like I think the ring is the scariest thing. When she's coming out of that television, oh my god. That one's so old, I don't, I mean it was scary, I don't, I can't think, because I don't walk, I don't go out of my way to watch them. Like, Michael Myers and all of that doesn't scare me, but like, Samara. <laughs> that was the scariest movie I've yeah, ever seen. Yeah, that was scary, because it's dolls are scary. That didn't mess you up? I don't, it was so long ago. Yeah. You're thinking of The Grudge. Yeah. I mean, Blair Witch was scary because it was the first of its kind. Yes. The found footage. Kind. Yeah. They tried to make it like it was real. Paranormal activity. I, I was in college. That's pretty creepy. And I remember there were three of, 
three of our friends in the dorm and then her boyfriend, one of our friend's boyfriends, we all went to see it. And we all literally slept in the same bed. He went to Lipscomb. We all went to Belmont. We all slept in the same bed because we were terrified after paranormal. And anytime at three o'clock in the morning, if I wake up at 3 a.m., I'm like, calm down. Go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. 3 a.m. It's just 3 a.m. Amityville Horror. Amityville Horror. The devil's... What is it? The devil's time of night? Oh, God. Get the doll! Get the doll! Yeah, take it out. Oh, my God. Yeah, take it out. There's that big room. There used to be like two or three guys, I mean, normal, rational people. And one guy, Anthony, swears that one time he's just sitting at his desk and he could see into the bottom of the stairs. Mm -hmm. And he saw a figure dressed like a soldier come around from the front door and go up the stairs. He was like, He's like, you don't have to believe me. He's like, I, I wouldn't believe me, but he was like, I saw it. <laughs> it always ha it seems to happen to the people that aren't looking for it. Yeah. I think a lot of times you justify something happening. Like you said, you know, something will fall or <clears throat> something Sometimes will happen. those books standing up will be on the floor. Yeah, and so it's easy to justify that sort of thing, right? What was that? was the door knocker. I feel like he's telling the door knocker a story, but he just made a knock. Are we justifying it? <laughs> yeah, because that would Good be point. such odd timing. I owned a house down the street on South Margin. It was like 1130 at night, and I was watching TV. I wasn't asleep, wasn't tired or anything. And, and I felt just this nudge at the end of my bed and I looked over to the right and I could see, it's almost like a transparent little boy's face, you know, but it wasn't scary. It was, it was almost like what? a side. Oh God. The side of my bed. It <laughs> opened up the side of my bed. That's weird. It hasn't spoken in a while <laughs> and this is what it says whoa that is really strange yeah it happened beside my bed not at the foot of my bed like i said so it, it really didn't frighten me but at the same time i'm like did, are my eyes just playing tricks on me right you know is it did right. i really see that or my yes totally all right which room do y'all want to be in what is that this is a voice recorder, so this... Well, why is this going off? You're gonna... Oh, it is going off. What's going off? So you're gonna just sit in here, but you're gonna actually ask questions, okay? Oh, God, dear. Oh, my, my mom God. goes, do you need me? I have, like, five missed What's calls April? from you. What? Did you call her? Mm -mm. My phone has been on the floor the entire time. Oh, that is really strange. Do y'all want to be in the same room? Or no? Just sit here together? You want us in different rooms? It's totally up to y'all. Is it better if one person? I'll try it, but if I tell y'all to open the damn door, you better open the damn door. Okay. You promise? I swear, yeah. Do you want to be in this room or that room? Isn't Peggy in here? Yeah, you... You can be in here. Well, Peggy's mostly upstairs, but apparently there you go. this is the room. All right, so we'll do we'll do this. So I'll have. Y'all are gonna be right out there. Right out there. Y'all can't scare me. Yeah, basically just ask questions, like it, it, just general questions. Can you is leave there... the door cracked? Yeah. Is there anyone here? Da, da, da. Okay, but can you leave the door cracked? Yeah. Okay. I will black. literally lose my mind. Like, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be bright. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, but blue please don't shut the door all the no, way. No. Yeah, yeah. You're leaving both lights I on? I don't just believe pink you. One. <laughs> I don't believe. Don't but it's not gonna be don't pitch black. Don't want me in here, y'all. You got it. <laughs> all right. Uh-uh! Oh. <laughs> Peggy, are you in here? Are you in here, 
Pikey. There's somebody in here. Did y'all just open the door outside? No, there's just a draft. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, nothing on here, you mean? No, but here. There was stuff there. Alright, so the thing with this, though, is that we don't hear it audibly, but when you play it back, when you hear I'm sitting here like talking to myself. Uh. So I'm just supposed to ask Peggy questions. <laughs> so I'm just supposed to ask Peggy questions. <laughs> 